everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video. Some weeks ago I repainted my first big doll hat and it was so much fun for me and for you also I hope that today I have decided to continue my experiment with big dolls and my model of the week will be such a Barbie like doll from the brand Dream Girl. Let's open the box and take a closer look at the doll. She looks already very cute. I really like her skin color and her sweet face with such a soft expression. And because of her neck she can look kinda up and down if she looks to the right or to the left. Her top is of course seriously too high, the same like the top from the previous doll, but I think I will be able to help. She has a very cute pearl necklace on. But for now I'll need to remove it and I will keep the bits safe in an empty box. Then I take pure acetone and remove her face. Let's hope I will be able to make her even cuter. And now I need to protect the doll's hair from the sealant that I will use for my repaint. So in meanwhile I've sealed the face with 3 layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and now I need to sketch her eyes with my watercolor pencils. And I use like always Faber Castell Albrecht Durer pencils. You can see that her lips are still a little bit orange. It happens sometimes with cheaper dolls that the paint that was used for their lips or eyebrows leaves some stains. But in our case it's not really a problem, it will be completely covered with pastels and pencils afterwards. With the same brown pencil I draw her nostrils. I know many of you find this step quite funny, but it's very important. First of all, it's always very very dark inside of our nose and we have to show it on her face as well. And secondly, like this I can shape her nose. You see, now the sides look quite thick and because of this the whole nose looks more massive. But if we make the sides of her nose thinner, the whole face looks immediately much more elegant if you can say so. For the eyebrows I use like always soft pastels and then I shape them with an eraser.
And now I take soft pastels and start contouring her face. First of all, I make darker the eye crease, the sides of the nose, the area around her mouth, and then I go under her cheekbones and to the hairline. And here it's very important to blend everything very good. Also blush her body, it should match the face color of course. To make her skin tone more alive, I add to her face some Indian red and pink pastels. And now I finally take my pencils again and start working on her eyes. The main advice here is to keep all your pencils very sharp, otherwise instead of a pretty face you will get something very messy and dirty.
I will show you again just how I'm drawing one eye, because the second one is made exactly the same. Between the layers of my repaint, I use Mr. Super Clear sealant to save my work. After drawing the irises, I start working on the white of the eyes. And in my previous videos, I have already told that it's not actually very white. And to show the eyes real shape, I'm using a lot of gray pencil while working on the white of the doll eyes. You can see that lately I experiment a lot with different kinds of dolls. And I also want to ask you what kinds of doll repaints you would like to see on my channel. Which dolls I should repaint or what looks and images I should give to my Monster High dolls and which characters from films and movies for example I just cannot forget. I promise I will read every comment under this video and the best ideas for doll customizing you will see very soon on my channel. For those eyebrows, I always use a couple of different shades of brown and red pencils to create some extra dimension. Then I want to work some more on her eye crease and to make it a little bit deeper and more realistic. Her lips I first color completely with soft pastels, and later, after a layer of sealant, I will add details with pencils.
with a very very sharp black pencil, I draw a reflection of lashes in her eyes. I'm using a special blending tool to blend the colors together, but regular Q-tips would work as well. The last time I didn't dare to draw the real teeth on a big Barbie face, but this time I'm going to do it. And first I just block the whole smile in white. And then with a grey pencil I draw the teeth. What is the most important here and what is the most popular mistake as well? The outline of the teeth cannot be black. This is how many people draw teeth. They make a black outline and the teeth inside of this outline they keep just pure white. And it looks just terrible. The same like with the white of the eyes. The teeth are more grey with white accents and no outline, just shadows and highlights.
With a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes. Then I add some lighter hair to her eyebrows. And then with the same light pencil, I highlight the lightest spots on the face, and then I blend the pencil very good. Then I take white acrylic paint and add all kinds of accents and highlights to her eyes. Now let's remove the protection from her hair and then remove a thin line of sealant from her hair. I make her two very elegant French braids and I think now she looks like just some princess on her wedding day.
Now I want to attach the false lashes and apply glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. And now I just need to add some details. With a piece of a white lace, I make a top for the doll. Then I repair her beautiful pearl necklace. And I complete her look with a pair of pearl earrings. And finally we can see the end result. I can tell you honestly, I'm just in love with this doll. She looks so elegant, but at the same time she stays very sweet. And I think my experiment with teeth was pretty successful, what do you think? Don't forget to let me know in the comment under this video. And of course, please don't forget to put your likes and to subscribe my channel if you don't want to miss my new doll repaints every week Friday. And I will see you already very soon, tomorrow, in my new video. Bye!